Would you like to show the map where we set a base versus the two sites that we set? Oh yeah, we plan? went from here, that's Iquitos, to uh, the uh, confluence at the Napo and the Amazon here. So this was a short distance that we went with this. Uh, and that's site one. Right, right. Yeah. So we're going to show photographs from site one <coughs> after. Now, you ever hear of a guy called Mark O'Shea? Mark O'Shea is a herpetologist. You've probably seen him. He goes on Animal Planet and goes looking for snakes. He was down looking for the black boa as well. But he didn't find it. We think we've been a bit more successful. And the reason is we use cutting-edge technology to help us. We use satellite photography. He never used satellite photography. And we've come up with images that he couldn't get. You so see? you take that picture from the aircraft when you were down there? Yeah. Oh, that there was taken from 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 an aircraft. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. But the some ones of the before pictures were from the satellite. The other ones yeah. are from satellite uh, satellite pictures. Anyway, now we use the same crew or the same team, basically, or members of the same team, to uh, carry out our expedition. The person we're going to be talking to, Jose. He was the guide and translator. There was another person called, what's her name, Deborah? McLaughlin. In McLaughlin. Lima. But she's in Lima now. The fixer. She's the fixer. The, your uh, channels are on screen now. Oh, yeah? Here's the channels that these creatures make in the, in the jungle. Keep them going. Keep them going. There's another one there, you see. I don't know if you want, but he may talk, Jose may talk about this one, which... Yeah, Jose may talk about You can't get the resolution on the screen, but we actually have caught the black boa at the top of this channel. And this is the head of the black boa, which is indeed mouse colored, not green. Let's see if we can... Think. Do you see it? Well, I, th I so can't... Is it it's in the water? It's coming out from a, a minor yeah. channel from the jungle yeah. and it's head, trying to head up here, although it does look like it's... Uh, it's uh, There's markings on it if you look, if you look it, closer at it, you know, but... It's just resting, I think Jose thinks. Anyway, um, Colonel Fawcett Percy Fawcett, he found basically the same channels that we found, and uh, he said this thing has a wicked looking head, you know. Which is much larger than, and we our, our research point kind of suggested that we were expecting something, a head much larger than your typical green anaconda, and this supports it with this photograph. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, interestingly, now there's an interesting point, that this snake that we found about this uh, down in the Amazon. Now the locals know about this. You're going to be talking to uh, Jose. This snake can actually, I've never heard of this happening before, but this snake can actually take water into itself and shoot it at a monkey in a tree and knock a monkey out of a tree and eat it. Like you know you take a water pistol and you, and you shoot a water pistol? This thing, this thing can shoot water and it can knock a monkey out of a tree and it sounds like a cannon going off when it when it sh shoots this. Jose will tell you about this creature, the black bow. You can hear it uh, in the jungle when it sh it's shooting this. Uh, what it